Hey guys, it's Eileen. Thank you for visiting my channel. Um, today I'm just going to jump right into showing you 23, I think 23 items that I sold for um, $50 or more. I don't do a lot of what sold videos anymore just because they are time consuming and we're selling so many things, but I thought it'd be beneficial for you guys to see some of the stuff that sells for a little bit of a higher price. So um, let's just get started and we'll start with this dress. It is Side note, I'm going to probably butcher a lot of brand name here, brand names here, so I'm really sorry about that. Feel free to correct me in the comments down below, but I'm going to try my best. Don't hate me. So, um, Naeem Khan dress. I've never heard of this brand. I saw the tag. Let me show you the tag. And it looked kind of nice, so I looked it up, and yeah. So I sold this dress. I believe I actually took an offer for $55 for this, if I remember correctly. It definitely sold over $50. Um, but it didn't sell for $69.99. I had a missed offer on it and it sold. So that is the first item. Second item is this dwell and slumber kind of like a gown thing. I think it might be maternity or post-pregnancy related. I'm not even honestly really sure, but it sold pretty quickly. So um, this sold for $49.99. So we're just going to say that it sold for $50 and... Um, it's just something that I found at Goodwill and I've never heard of before, but I looked it up because it was really soft um, and apparently it has a really good resale value and they sell pretty quickly. There aren't a lot available, so definitely check out or definitely look out for Dwell and Slumber items. Um, this Pet Safe dog call, training collar is actually something that I got from somebody that I know that asked me to sell their stuff for them. Um, I ended up putting it up for auction because um, I've, I was starting everything at auction. I, I've been doing that for a couple of months now where everything goes to auction first and then I relist it as buy it now. Um, and this was one of the rare times that there was actually like kind of a bidding war. You can see that we had 16 bids. I think I started it at $30 because comps were about 30 or 40 um, and ended up going for $56. And yes, we did test it on my husband. No, I do not necessarily condone electric training collars. So that's my disclaimer on that but we did sell it. Um, this next item is a, I guess a cool, or like a fan for a computer. And it is something that a friend gave me. She was just gonna donate a bunch of stuff to Goodwill. So I asked her if I could have all of it. And this is one of the things that they gave me. It was a brand new unbox. They just ended up not using it and we sold it for $54.99. Um, this next item sold really quickly within I think about a week. It is, a, I guess, the back brace, and um, they actually had it in with the purses at my thrift store, and I decided to look it up because I didn't know what it was, um, and it ended up being a back brace, and it sold for $55. Um, this sold recently, and it is a, like, a pewter mug, cup, I don't know. On the bottom, it does have an engraving that says Fellowship Foundry and the Year, and I looked it up, and those items do tend to sell a little bit higher. I did take a pretty low offer on this. I took, I think it was a $60 offer on this, but I did not pay anywhere near that. I did pay up a little bit. I think I might've paid around $10 for it. Um, but because we are about to go on a road trip for six weeks and we want to clear out a lot of our inventory, I was more than happy to take that. Even though if I waited a little bit longer, I probably could have been able to get more seven than the 75 to $80 range. Um, but it's fine with me. Um, these I purchased at Nordstrom Rack during one of their Clear the Rack sales. I don't remember how much I paid, and I believe I took an offer for about $55 for it. This is another thing from Nordstrom Rack. It sold for $69.99. I don't remember how much I paid, honestly, but um, usually Nordstrom Rack items or retail arbitrage items, I try to at least triple my money. Um, so that'll give you an idea of the profit. This is a bins find. If you don't know what the bins are, it is the Goodwill outlet. Um, where they generally sell you stuff by the pound. These were some Salvatore Ferragamo dress shoes. I actually found two pairs of them and they both sold pretty quickly. I got $69.99 for this pair and there's another pair I think later in this um, video. This is an IRO dress. I'm assuming it's, you say IRO and you don't try to read it, but <laughs> it's a brand that I've only heard of before. I've never seen it before, but I Saw it at the thrift store and picked it up and, well, I looked it up and then I picked it up and then I sold it for 60 bucks. Um, this is a Vince dress. This is also a Nordstrom Rack find. Um, I believe it actually sold for $99. I think that was their offer, if I remember correctly. Um, but still pretty good profit. I probably paid around 20, 
35 to 35 for it. I'm not exactly sure. That is more than I usually pay for 99% of my items. I don't usually pay more than five to ten dollars for items so that was a good buy but i don't usually buy that much or buy that high of an item why can't i talk i don't usually spend that much on inventory <laughs> this is from a yard sale i actually have several more of these um not this exact bottle but i do have more of this um perfume and it is a perfume i guess from the 80s and I randomly decided to look it up and I saw that recently one sold for $250, you guys. So I picked up all the ones that she had um, and I only listed a couple of them because I didn't want to saturate the market. Um, so this one sold for $99. I did have it up for $150, but I'll take $99. That pays for all the perfume that I purchased plus a lot of profit. So um, I do have more that I had to list, but definitely look out for old perfumes. Um, some people don't like to pick them up because they say they probably don't smell the same, but people are still buying them. So maybe they smell enough like they did back in the 80s and that's good enough for them. So um, this I purchased at a yard sale. It is like a, I don't, a home safety telephone system. I don't, I didn't really pay that much attention. I think there's like a necklace that they can put on to, I don't know, that somehow connects to the phone. I don't know, but I bought it. Um, I think for 10 bucks and sold it for a hundred. These are also from a yard sale. She was just like giving these away. I think I paid like three bucks for these and I sold it for $115. Um, these Eileen Fisher pants. I don't remember. I want to say, I really don't know. This might've been a Nordstrom Rack find, but it also might've been a thrift find. So I have no idea. We're at the point where we have so much inventory that I can't always keep track, but um, they did sell for $129.99. So Eileen Fisher is a good brand to look up. It's kind of hit or miss for me. Some items, like this is the most I've ever sold an Eileen Fisher item for, um, but it just depends on the item. Some items I won't, can't even sell for like 30 bucks and some like this one I'll sell for over a hundred. So definitely look up the style as well as just the brand and make sure that you're buying something that is going to sell, not just buying something because the brand sounds good. Um, this is one of my favorite sales. Look at this guy. Um, I bought this at a yard sale as well. And um, I actually bought a little ET plush along with it that for some reason I thought was going to be worth more, but <laughs> this backpack ended up being worth way more. Um, so I sold it for $129 and it sold first round at auction. Um, this is a pair of Harry Potter bands. I didn't make as much money on these as I wanted to. Um, back when bands... Um, did the release of the Van Gogh sneakers. I, oh, oh choking. <laughs> I bought a bunch of stuff um, and I sold a lot and made a good amount of profit. Um, this time I didn't make quite as much. I think they were 75 or $8 a pair. So I made maybe like $20 after fees, but I wasn't sure how big the hype was going to be for these Harry Potter shoes. And I figured out at least make my money back. So um, I bought three pairs. I have one pair left. This let Last pair will be all profit, I'm pretty sure, if I do my math right. Um, but keep an eye out for Harry Potter vans because if you're buying them for less than retail, then you're definitely gonna make a profit on it. Um, these are some Uggs that I bought over a year ago at a warehouse sale. Um, I've sold three other pairs of these and I didn't realize that we had these until we did an inventory in our garage and saw that we had one more pair. So, um, even though it is the dead of summer, this sold July 12th, these still sold for 129. I probably could have, um, sold them higher if we waited until fall or winter. But like I said, we're just trying to clear out inventory and we're taking any good offers. Um, so I just started the bids or the auction at $129.99 and it sold. And this is the other pair of Salvatore, Salvatore, Salvatore Ferragamo, <laughs> hopefully I'm saying that right, um, shoes that I bought at the bins and this one sold for $150, another one of those rare cases where you actually get people um, in a bidding war. It almost never happens these days, but it definitely happened for this pair of shoes. Um, and I'm really happy with the profit we got on those since those are a bins find. Um, this is actually my camera that I sold and I just have not been using it. I'm just really bad at using um, a big clunky camera like that. I just use my phone for everything. So I decided to sell it. So I sold that for $149.99. Uh, these Chanel shoes I've had, I had for a couple of weeks. I bought them at a yard sale um, and I did a lot of research to make sure that they seemed authentic and 
yeah, I think we're good to go. I haven't heard anything. Whenever you sell something for a lot of money, you always kind of cringe and wait for <laughs> hope that there's no return. So far, so good. Um, we're not in the clear yet, but I think we're going to be okay because I did do a lot of research and they do look authentic to me. Um, and the buyer left feedback already, so I think we're good. Okay, these next two things like just like blew my mind. So when we did this apartment clean out a couple of months ago, um, we cleaned out some of her kitchen stuff and we were going to sell it at a yard sale. And I was looking at the stuff and I was like, um, I was actually looking at the other item that, that I'll show you next. And I looked it up because it, I wasn't sure exactly what it was and I wanted to know how to price it. I was going to ask maybe like 30 or 40 bucks for it. No. If you find anything with the Salad Master of the Salad Master brand, look it up. You guys, this is a pan and it sold for $172.50 with eight bids. And then the other item that sold was a electric skillet, oops, sorry, an electric skillet that sold for $350. So always look out for Salad Master. I don't know if I'm ever going to find it again, but I'm just shocked that this was worth so much because I had no idea when I was just like throwing it around the garage, putting it in boxes as we moved or cleaned up that garage. So, I mean, not that garage, that apartment. So that is the last thing. And that is the most expensive thing we've sold in quite a while um, and super excited about it. So that is, I think, 23 items that sold for $50 or more, just so you can kind of expand your knowledge a little bit. And hopefully you find one of these items while you're outsourcing too. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will try to do more what sold videos. Thanks guys.